Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode three of Ultimate Alchemy. Today, we're going to make a super fast Coke oven. We're going to automate blaze powder, automate blizz powder, automate coal balls on our way to making diamonds. We're, I'm going to introduce you to something new, the ender porcupine. And we're also going to use an overclocked generator for power. So let's cover off a few things first that I did in between episodes. I didn't do them much, but I did do a little bit. I made some uh, ender chests. I marked one of these for iron with a, a light gray there. This has a regular gray for uh, gravel. And now they're auto feeding over here for the, the irons going in there. The uh, gravel's yeah. going in here for this and this. They are working, aren't they? Yeah, making dirt. A lot of people are giving me suggestions on how they think I can improve the dirt one. I really don't care. I'm getting plenty of dirt right now. Now that it's set up, I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, there are much better ways I know of to make it. Once you have dirt, I could have automated it a little better, but it's kicking out plenty of dirt, more dirt than I need. Same with a lot of these things here. I could make this a lot better and now they got some machinery and some upgrades and things on those lines, but I've got like more than enough of all this stuff, right? All right, I did uh, plant some of the grass that we made last episode and I hit it with bone meal and I got a whole bunch of different mm -hmm. seeds, including I got some ender lilies, some miniature voids, some red orchids. But really what I, all I wanted was I wanted to be able to make some string so I can got that, I got some wheat, I got some rice, um, some that, some of uh, industrial hemp, and I just planted them. That grass is probably not going to stay there. I'll replace it with some, not grass, the, that farm's not going to stay there. It was just so I'd have a little bit of everything to start. Um, I had to place a magna crucible up here uh, to make signalum which is four signalum from one silver, three copper, and 10 redstone. I found it easier if I did batches where I used blocks. So 10 blocks, 27, nine, and that outputs 36. But you have to put the redstone in the magna crucible and have it feed down and in, because otherwise if you put it in here, it becomes redstone slurry. And that's how you make uh, this stuff. Anything else that was new in here? No, I guess that was it. Oh, maybe I didn't show bronze before. Tin and copper makes bronze. All right, anything else? No, I think we can get started. So first off, if, if you're not familiar with this, it's bone meal and cobble makes dorite. You cook dorite and you get yourself marble. And we use marble to make the machine frames for the extra utilities to stuff. And you can use a machine frame and get yourself a furnace generator like that. And we use that to make the overclocked generator. This was a suggestion to me by I Snow Crash. I wonder if you read the book. That's a great book, by the way. Anyways, the overclocked generator is a little different. It... Uh, yeah, there's no explanation here, and I'm trying to remember how it work, goes. Basically, it eats the whole pile of stuff all at once, but we don't care because we've got barrels that spit out infinite wood, so we don't care about the fuel. Normally, that's the problem with the overclock generator is it's very fuel inefficient, but puts out a lot of power. All right, so we've got that. I was planning on using a wireless battery, but that only puts out 80 RF per tick. So I'm not going to be using it right away. I might find a use for it later. So while they're set up, I'll just make them. And those are the wireless RF transmitters. You just have to place this within four blocks of any machine you want to give up to 80 RF. But you'll see why 80 RF was not enough for me in a minute. Coke bricks. So we need to make ourselves 27 of those. You get three from each of these crafts. And then let's mess with another watermill. I've already made three of them. Um, I wanted, I placed the three so I could get the stone burnt without having to manually do the whole thing. 
and so that's one more just so you could see it being made oh and I am going to make a aqueous accumulator this is to, used as an infinite water source you could do that or you could use extra utilities too with the world interaction upgrade everybody seems to know about that one but nobody seems to know about the aqueous accumulator that used to be the way to do it back in uh, agrarian skies uh, this is one of your only infinite water sources and it's been around forever all right so we've got one of those and I know what I don't have on me that I'm gonna want I am going to want that and that okay oh and I'm also gonna want a couple of buckets of water I don't have buckets on me do I know okay two buckets of water whoops how did I grab four I thought I was grabbing two which one's water that one's water okay we'll come over here this is where I set this stuff up the way you set these up is you put source on one corner source on the opposite corner so that middle one there is source then it's got flowing water on four sides when you put flowing water on four sides it generates 16 each so we're going to put in one more here right there and I am going to double purpose this and I'll knock you out and I'll put you down and I'll turn that off for right now and then I'm going to put I need it on two sides I think it can go in the front so yeah that should work all right so now this thing's up to 16 grid power and this guy here is full of water okay so it needs uh, source water on two sides now we're going to toss one of these on here and we're going to mark it as blue and then we're going to come down to this thing and output to the top and there we go this thing is now filling up with water and I can drop these wherever I want and I've got infinite water all right that's taken care of next up what are we doing here we are going to oh yeah uh, the only reason I'm doing these again is I totally forgot how I got these things so I decided I might as well do it on screen again you take pistons iron pickaxe and a bowl and you get your ender shards and so I, that's going to give me 32 of them which comes in four stacks of eight we're going to take a drying rack with us when we go don't need those for a sec all right um, yeah let's go deal with these first then we'll go on to the rest of it so are you turned up you're turned off okay I'm going to take I'm gonna do this twice it takes 10 of these to make one so they're done then I'm going to I made myself a pan cast and we pour that into the pan cast and it gives us a soggy ender pearl one of these guys so let's mark this over here soggy ender pearl gets eight of those and we'll take one for demonstration purposes here what you do with that is you come over here and you stick it on a drying rack and when that dries it is going to be a ender pearl I've already done that a few times so we don't have to wait for it to dry now power manager stone and a resonating redstone crystal 
gives us our power manager. Come over here, we stick them in the center. Oh no, that's what I did wrong. Okay, that's how you do it. So, Ender Porcupine. This was suggested to me by Nova Genesis on Reddit. This thing is awesome. I'll show you what it does in a second. What else? We need a couple of pulverizers. Two of them. We're going to need a redstone furnace. Those are just bricks there. This guy here, all standard stuff, copper, whatever, is uh, fluid transposers. We need two of them. We need uh, a magna crucible. Those are nether bricks, which are nether brick, cooked nether rack. I think I've gone through that before. All right, and we'll come back for the rest of that. Let's get to, actually, let's empty one thing out since I'm not using this right away. I'm not using that right away. Okay. So, oh, I know what I needed. Well, it was over here. Ah! My wand. I know what I haven't made yet. And I haven't even set it up to be made yet. A hammer. There. Yeah, I hadn't made one yet. Just gave me the uh, achievement. Right click there. And we now have our Coke oven. Everybody knows how to make that. What's so special about it? Well, we'll show you in a sec. Pulverizer first. Then I'm going to place down my overclock generator here. Oh, I'm going to want to place... And I don't want them right now, but I, it's easier if I place them while I'm doing this. like that and then we want our furnace up here and then we're going to take our infinite oak barrel we're going to slap it on the side here then I'm going to take my some translocators I'm going to need to dig myself a little hole here so I'm not going to be able to reach oh I know what I don't have on me Glowstone. Now I can put one on here for now. Fill in a little hole. Oops, not that far up. Ah, figures. There we go. Put that on there. Come down a bit again. Put that there. Now I need an open hand. And that's feeding that in there. That's doing it pretty fast because we put the glowstone on there. And so this guy is producing power at a reasonable rate. We want him to go a little faster though. So let's take and make... These here are pressure plates in a resonator. For them that's just redstone blocks. And that's why we needed grid powder. Power. Now it's making a lot quicker, as we can see. But we're not finished with that. We're going to make this thing go even faster. But let's take, so I don't get myself confused, we'll turn all those off like that. Step one. We're going to pull in from that side. We're going to push out from that side. 
it's touching this, so uh, I didn't need to run power separately. Um, this one here is going to come in from the top and out there. And we're going to do that again for that and that. And we're going to put glowstone on there. And you need auto input enabled. There we go. So it's getting its stuff and doing its thing. And it's making it. There. Now it's transferring it in. And we're pulverizing in. And it's going to send it over from there. Now they're going a reasonable clip, but not fast enough. No, we're close. So the first thing we're going to do is upgrade it with some hardened kits. And these are, this is Electrum. Oh, by the way, Electrum. Better to make it in the uh, Energetic Infuser. Because then it only costs you one gold to make it, rather than the alloy. And that silver in there and hardened glass, which I've shown you before. And let's, since I'm always going to use these in pairs, we'll make them into kits. And we'll make a whole bunch of these guys. Okay, and so we'll speed that one up, that one up, and we'll throw the kits on there too. One, two. One, two. So that's going up quite a bit quicker now. Notice that they're drawing 120 RF per tick, more than 80. So, and it's going to get worse in a minute too. But this thing's easily keeping up with that. So far. So that part looks good. This is making coal. It's coming over here. And do I have? I don't have any barrels on me yet. I've only got five item barrels. I need to make more. That's not going to be enough. That is the regular item barrels, yeah. We'll put one there. Oh, no. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we will speed that up with a glowstone. Glowstone makes it stacks or something. All right, so this thing, it's going at a reasonable pace, but not all that quick. Let's make this thing go really, really fast. Oh, and notice we are definitely keeping it full of pulverized coal at this point in time. Now we're going to come out one, two, three, and there. We'll line three users up like that. Then we're going to take our little porcupine buddy here. Where's our porcupine? Ender porcupine. We're going to put it right there. Now, the whole problem with using a wand on this right now is we come over here and just try to try a wand on it. It's not see the bar is not moving very fa much faster at all. It's pretty much the same as what it would normally be doing. So we're not affecting it at all. What we have to do is hit the middle block in the center of this thing, and that's what the porcupine is for. So if we look at this, and we know that it's two away on this line over here, the way I've got it set up. Like if we look at this, and I stand here, and hit F3, that, uh, yeah, I'm on the, it's on the 18 is where I want it. So here, where it's at 20, we want to reduce that to 18. See the 18 there, and the 18 there. So it's starting from 20 and going to the 18. So it's hitting the middle block, basically. 
so far so good. Now let's take this, we'll put it on there, and we'll put it, that's on fastest mode. Put that in there. Let's see what we're doing now. So now you can see it's going quite a bit quicker. Five times faster, actually. It was at 10 seconds before. Now it's at uh, something like one and a half seconds. Um, so even a little more than five times faster. But in general, my rule of thumb seems to be each time I add in a wand like that, it's about uh, 5.4 times faster. And so with one wand, we're doing okay. And we're still keeping this thing pretty full, right? So far, so good. Let's do it again. Let's get even faster. So we're going to put it on Now we look at it, and it's still kind of keeping up. It's struggling a bit, but it's kind of keeping up to spitting them out. Now, uh, I'll just go over the numbers one time so that you hear them all correctly. With no wands, it's about 10 seconds. With one wand, it's about 1.5, maybe a little more than that. Uh, with two wands, it's about three per second. If it's three wands in a row, it's 16 per second. So we're doing three per second now, and these guys aren't keeping up. Even when I've added in the upgrades for that, that's not enough. Now, what, we're go what do we do about that? Well, let's put... I want in there, and I want in there. Well, this is staying full, no problem. But it still doesn't seem to be, oh yeah, yeah, it's doing it now. It's going in a little faster than what this guy can handle. And power is still full speed on all of the above. Let's make it ridiculously fast. When I say ridiculously fast, you can put a fourth one on here, but the problem then becomes uh, you end up with tick issues like you would on uh, an energetic generator. And you got to get your tick timing correct. And I just, I don't plan on running it that fast anyways. So now, again, we are beyond what the system can handle. So I would need to put uh, an extra one on this one at least. That one seems to be doing okay. I would need another one, another wand on this guy to keep up. And you're doing just fine so far. So yeah, I could put two on. Let's do that. Let's do exactly that. Let's see how it fares. Where are my users? Still have users there. Yeah, okay. Need to get that out of the way. Put a new block there. And put a user there. Use item on block. And it's drawing power just a little faster than that thing can handle, but it's doing much better here. But still not quite up to speed. Oh, because this guy's now the problem. He's not supplying it enough, of course. So what we would need to do if we're going to do that is do both of those. But notice that's three wands. This is two wands for each of these. I don't know, we need a couple more wands. Oh, 
Okay, how are we faring now? <laughs> Having a hard time keeping power. Wow. It seems to be the transfer between this and those is a problem now. So just for this one. Oh, I guess that's getting it from two spots, the under part and the uh, machine directly. Wonder if we should have run a cable to it or something. Anyways, it's spitting this stuff out really, really fast now. And to be very honest, I don't plan on leaving it like this because this thing is going to get really full really quick on me. So I'm actually going to slow it down again and let it run because I, I've set this up really early. I, uh, I could have waited a couple of episodes before I got around to doing that. So I don't need these ones at all. If I only have one wand working there, whoops. And I'll only leave one wand on here. That'll reduce my lag too. And now it's keeping up just fine. And I'm still still taking off pretty quick over here. All right. So, what do we want all this coal for? What the, what's the use of that? Um, three th three different things we're gonna do with this stuff. What's our first one? We're going for blaze powder. We need one of our pulverizers. And we'll put it down there. I'll turn off everything for now. And beside the pulverizer uh, for the blaze powder is going to be a barrel. And then beside that barrel, we're going to put down a fluid, not a magnet crucible, a fluid transposer. Beside the fluid transposer, we are going to put a magna crucible. And beside the magma crucible, we're going to put a crafter. Do I have any crafters on me? No. All the stuff eventually has to come over with me, but uh, I didn't put it all on me right away. We're going to need that eventually. We're going to need these eventually. We do not need these right now. I'll keep one extra on me, I guess. And I am going to need these. Not going to need that, actually. Okay. So then over here on the very far end, what did I say? A crafter. A crafter goes there, and this crafter needs to be fed from a stone barrel. And then, oh, I know what we have to make, which we haven't made yet. We need a chisel. Oh, and we're going to need these right now, too. Those are uh, augments or sieves. Okay, so in here, we're going to put a chisel. And do I have any stone on me? No. Let's grab one stone. And we're going to put a stone there. And that's going to make us statues of the thinker. Then the statues of the thinker are going to come in here. And well, that's basically it. And then we're going to output to that side. Then over here, oh, let's set up this first. Pulverizer is going to pull in from there and it's going to, we want this side here to be down there. 
that's going to be the sulfur. And at the back, we're going to send the coal, the pulverized coal. So at the back is going to get a barrel. Okay, and this guy, auto insert. It's pulling it up and sending it where it needs to go. This guy here is going to need to bring in fluid from there, bring in items from there. Oh, and then he's going to need to output to the top. We'll put a barrel there. And you need a auto input. And you're not going very fast at all. Not yet anyways. Ooh, I know what I really needed to do. I really needed that one. So you go on there. And this time we're going to add two sieves. So that we're going to get more of that when we do it. And this guy isn't going to be fast enough. Yeah, he's too slow. So what we're going to do is... our last user and nope that's not where you go I guess we gotta knock a hole in the ground again there we go put that on there and now you're going a lot quicker because this got uh, sieve augments instead of speed upgrade so it definitely needed that but it's having a hard time getting enough power so is, are you keeping up with power yep it's just our conduit we need to upgrade our conduit all right so how much power are you using you're using practically nothing. That that handles a thousand RF per tick or 1280 or something like that. Why are you not keeping up? All right. And that's coming over, getting into that. It's making those and we now have blaze powder. So far so good. Phase one. Phase two. Let's make some cobalt. And I haven't made a crusher yet. Let's do that first. Crusher, what was this thing? Oh, the drum. Yeah, might as well get it over here. So that's everything now. All right, so let me show you what I, here, so you can understand what I'm trying to figure out how to do here. We are making, co let's say we want to make diamonds. Diamonds. The way you make diamonds is arc furnace, you need compressed coal and lapis. Compressed coal balls, you need dense coal balls fed into a metal press. To get those, you need compressed coal balls around bricks. Compressed coal balls are coal balls in a metal press. To get coal balls, we need to take flint and pulverized coal. Well, this is the pulverized coal. So we want a crafter that's going to go... A crafter goes right here. And then over here... We're going to put in our cable. And we're going to put in our crusher. And then on top of our crusher, we are going to put a reverse one of these so it's shift control place a one of these and one of those
and the gravel one is gray in the center there. Now it comes down here, it's taking gravel and it's making it into flint. And this guy here is going to take the flint. I need one flint, thank you. And I need one of you. And we're going to go And can it draw? Yeah, it's drawing flint just fine from the machine beside it. So it's drawing from both of them. And we are going to need another barrel. You're a plain barrel. Yep, you'll do. Oh, and we need to output. So we'll do that. And now we have our coal balls going in there. So far, so good. We've got, we've got the coal balls. We can later on. The reason I want to do this step of it now is because we're using eight of these. So it's the slowest step in the process to make diamonds. So we'll get started on it now and do the rest of the stuff later. The final step is to make blizz powder. And to make blizz powder, and let's see if I can remember this one. We're going to need a fluid transposer. And we're going to put the fluid transposer right there. Oh, but I just dropped that down without any power. Oops! That was a big oops. What did I have over here? You were a fluid transposer. It must be a magnet crucible. You're still all set up except auto input. There we go. You're back at it again. And the problem is now it's not going to have, okay, out the back as well. Oh, you know what I haven't done to these guys? Okay. So now, right, we needed power. Okay, so we'll turn all that off. And where do you go first? The fluid transposer. Oh, and you need a glacial precipitator beside you. That's the thing that makes snowballs. Where's my glacial precipitator? Is it over here somewhere? Did I forget to make it? Yes, I did. Glacial precipitator. Invar. That goes there. And we're going to take a fluid guy. And shift control. Boom. What, whoops, I don't want it there. I should just turn all this off for right now. And then... Are you, you're not set to blue yet. Okay. So we're going to set you to blue for water. And you're going to input there for water. And now it's making snowballs. And you're going to output there. You're going to input from here and input from the back. And then we're going to speed you guys both up. I 
two extras of those. And I don't think I have another barrel, do I? No, I, I'm short one barrel. Let's make another barrel. It's going to be one of you and where are my chests? Right there. A lot of guy, people are suggesting you should go over to drawers. I deliberately want to try out these barrels, give them a solid try. This is the first pack where they haven't turned around and made them uh, harder to get to than drawers. I really have to uh, play with the drawer controller and find a use for it on what I want to do. And then we're going to put an output up top. And boom, we have blizz powder. We have cobalt. And we have blaze powder. So what, what do we want all that stuff for? Well, blaze powder, we need it to make the blast bricks so that we can make steel. Then with steel, we can continue on towards uh, diamonds because we need it for the metal press. W with blaze, we can also make flux so that we can make a flex network. And we're also going to have creosol so that we can get involved in some of the other stuff from... Uh, do I have fluid on me? Yeah, I do. Fluid there. And we'll take a, just a regular drum. That'll hold 256 buckets. Because when you do uh, coal to charcoal, it doesn't create that much of the stuff. But this is keeping full. That's going faster than this is using it. So that's fine. Even with that, it's still uh, going quicker than this. Oh no, it's pretty even. Actually, it's using it just slightly quicker than it's making it, so that's just fine. It's close to even. I think that's it for this episode. I hope you learned something new. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.